Okay, back to walkers, guys. Walkers can have many attachments that allow for independence for the person. Um, some examples are a person might have a basket or like a crocheted bag that loops on the front of their walker that they keep their Kleenexes in or maybe their lip gloss or pictures or Bibles, um, their eyeglasses. So they're kind of like little bags. I've also, um, you can also see walkers that have trays put in the front of them. So the person can have a tray to do a crossword puzzle on or a person can have a tray to have a snack off of. Um, walkers can also have adaptive pieces put in place. Um, it's called a Hemi walker. And the Hemi walker is actually a walker, say if somebody had a stroke and they're trying to convert to using, um, to getting back to walking, they might have a brace that will support the weak inside, the contracted side, and then they use the walker with their strong side. Um, so there are different attachments for walkers too. Okay, um, tennis balls are put on walkers, not for decoration. You can see in figure 2725 on page 405, a walker with tennis balls. Walker tennis balls are on the rear legs of a walker. The reason is it helps the walker move safely along certain types of flooring like rugs and carpets. Okay, so that is why they put the tennis balls on. It's not for decoration, it's for safety. Moving on to slide 22. Slide 22 talks about orthotic devices. Um, some examples of uh, I'm sorry, some examples of an orthotic device would be a brace. Braces do the following things. They support weak body parts. They prevent or correct deformities and they prevent joint movement. So it kind of locks the joint into place. So whatever is going on, whatever deformity is happening, it can heal. And it also will strengthen, support those weakened body parts. A brace that is applied over the ankle is called an AFO. It can be over the ankle, knee, or back. The thing with braces is you need to be very, very careful with this. If you're putting a brace on somebody, you have to make sure the brace is not causing any damage or breakdown to their skin. So you have to check the skin of where the brace is going before putting the brace on and check it often once the brace is on to make sure that skin is not red, broken down, blistering, or irritated or painful. Um, you want to make sure there's no skin breakdown. So you also have to make sure the skin and the bony points under the braces are kept clean and dry. If they're sweating or they're incontinent and they have urine or stool, or anything underneath the brace, you need to clean the skin immediately so it doesn't have breakdown. You always report any redness or signs of breakdown to the nurse and report any complaints of pain or discomfort. If you put the brace on and the person says, I can't do it, it hurts too much, it's rubbing, it burns, um, I'm in pain, you need to let the nurse know. Do not just put that brace on. Let the nurse know. Adjustments can be made to the braces. A lot of braces are plastic so they can irritate the skin, but we can put cotton materials or like fluffy blanket type lamb's wool is called materials. Therapy can adjust them. Um, and maybe the patient has gained or lost weight, so it's rubbing or it's not fitting correctly. So report the complaints. We could try to fix them and make it more comfortable for the person. The care plan will tell you when to apply and remove the brace. Braces are not left on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Braces are usually on when a person's up and off when they're in bed, but check your care plans, talk to your nurses about that. Braces can be made with metal, plastic, or leather. The nurse um, assesses the skin under the brace every shift, but again, you're probably gonna see that skin more often than the nurse will, so you should be assessing and looking at the skin for those breakdowns as well. Um, an ankle foot orthosis, an AFO, is worn with a shoe. AFOs were on the state test last year. They seem to show up every couple of years. So make sure you know what an AFO is. There's a picture of an AFO and various braces on page 408 of your book. Figure 2728 is the F AFO. It's a plastic brace that is worn with a shoe to support the foot or the leg or whatever limb it's made for. And then figure 2727 shows you a knee brace. 